Hey, what's up everybody? Um, I have a CYC photon right here. I'm gonna be changing the torque sensor in here, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. So the first step you wanna do is take off this rotational ring that holds the chain ring in place. You need a photon chain ring removal tool. I pre-loosened it a little bit so that I'm not struggling on camera, but it's usually not this easy. So you put it on, use a wrench, and then Turn it off, you can hand loosen it then, or not yet. So once the cover is off, then we pull the chain ring off. So this is where the torque sensor is, which is this one right here. And we're gonna be changing it. So there's two aspects. There is the rotational aspect of the torque sensor, and this is the stationary one. So when I take this off, I'll show you how it goes. Um, this is the Sprag clutch. So just in case if you ever wanna change it, this is where that goes. So to take out the old torque sensor, you wanna put your finger in all the way and then just kinda pull it out. Be a little bit grease in there, so your hands are gonna get a little bit dirty. So this is the rotational one right here. And then there's one, two, three, four screws right here which uh, takes the, um, the stationary part of the torque sensor out. So this is where the sprag clutch is. So just in case if you wanna change that, it's nice and greased up. I'll take it out right now so I can take the, let me get my screwdriver. All right guys, so I have the stationary part out. So basically when you're installing your new torque sensor, you wanna make sure the sensor is lined up, otherwise your torque sensor is not gonna work. But that's it guys. So basically now, um, when you get a new torque sensor, the two, I mean the four screws um, come with it, They're already like pre locked tight, so you don't have to worry about that. But then you put this in basically, Put the screws back on, this in, the sprack clutch, and that's it. Easy peasy.